Hey yo guys, it's Karma and I'm back with another video and today we are in Rogue Lineage, the game that is popping right now. It has 1.4 thousand people playing like right now as I record. This game is in paid access so it has 1,400 people playing and it's in paid access which costs 350 Robux. That's a lot of Robux but yeah that's an insane amount of players. Anyways, um, the reason why I'm making this video is because since there are so many people that play this game the thing is there's a lot of people that don't know how to play this game and they leave a dislike if you guys check the dislike to like ratio on this game it is insanely bad it's 50 percent ish and it will s continue to go down if like people don't know how to play the game this game is kind is like supposed to make it where you learn information throughout the world but thing is like roblox you know roblox people are just they don't flow with that so yeah they would leave a dislike obviously because they bought the game and don't know how to play it so like i mean i would have left the i would have left a dislike if i didn't know how to play but luckily i do so anyways i'm just gonna do a starter guide for people that don't know how to play and so they don't waste their robux and also to keep this game alive anyways so i'm going to be reading from a discord that is so useful it's uh, information guide to rogue lineage i'll leave the description the discord in the description if you guys want to check it out it has so much stuff as the map of the world it's so insane anyways so we'll start with the races because when you buy the game and start it you get a race a random race um races do have rarities and they all do different things so we got dizen first one dizen dizen d-z-i-n and basically, Dizens have immunity to mind spells, uh, and they also have immunity to uh, psychological injuries, which I'll talk about later. Um, anyways, so and they have access to World Pulse. So World Pulse is just a move that Dizens can use only Dizens because uh, it's their race ability. Like Uchiha, they have Sharingan. That's their race ability. Um, anyways, so well, clan ability. Anyways. Um, the world pulse is basically like observation hockey from one piece if you guys don't know it highlights the character and you can see them through walls move around all that but you can't see the name and how far away they are well you can't see how far they are but not like the exact studs or something you just got to guess or some anyways but that's really cool um i can get in depth with world pulse basically you just like if you use it too long you can go blind and when you go blind you can only see outlines of people but the surrounding like the walls everything is black you only see people like i would be blind and i'm trying to go out but you don't see anything else but people that's it you don't see no buildings nothing um uh, so that's why you don't want to use it too much if you use it like pretty long it will show you the it'll show you like if you're getting blind but if you're getting blind then you just want to calm down stop using it and just uh, wait until you can use it again and the more you use it the longer range you can see people from anyways that's the, i think that was too in depth with the dizen race um casperin casperin is the dragon race basically and uh it gets an extra life so the start of the life is three days as you guys can see but they get four lives in fact and um they breathe fire on the 15th day and these zeros you guys don't know those zeros are how many days you've survived and a day in the game is 40 minutes long so if you stay in the game for 40 minutes uh you get one day and D and casperins have to survive 15 days to get their ability to breathe fire it's pretty cool but uh yeah so that's casperin they look like dragons they have horns out of their heads and whatnot next one reagan reagan is a class that gives two times mana speed basically saying two times mana charge if you i don't have mana but if you did have mana which i'll explain how to get it because you have to obtain it if you had mana it'd be right here and basically when you hold g it'll charge up but if you don't use it it'll just go down and you got to keep charging it up and up but basically with reagan you can just it just uh it's two times faster it's just way better for mages in this game uh there are mages and all that but it's it's pretty cool. Uh, that's all for Reagan, and they look kind of like a zombie. Next one is Shroom. This one's a pretty rare race. Um, 
shroom you legit look like a mushroom but in roblox form like human uh shrooms have access to decompose if you don't know what that is it's basically they have an ability to sink themselves into the ground and heal it's pretty cool uh they look like a shroom when they shrink in the ground uh i can't show you guys what it looks like a bit uh because there's nobody here to show me but uh yeah it's pretty cool they're also immune to poison which poison i haven't really seen much gameplay about poison but uh i'm not trying to drink poison because people can force you to drink stuff if they if they knock you uh if, and if you guys don't know what knocking is it's basically when your health bar goes to like right here and you'll be ragdolled and you can be either picked up killed or um get a scar like they can scar you on your face and stuff anyways uh yeah so that's shroom also they can't become vampires which is all right uh next one Hasselden. Hasselden is more like it's really it's pretty common a bunch of my friends have it but it is very good very good it's also known as berserker berserker is a, a class where not a class sorry it's not a class it's just a race where you can go berserk mode and um you get it's a berserk mode is when you get knocked up knocked out i'm pretty sure i don't really know because i'm not well this race is actually berserk but nobody's here to hit me so i can't go berserk mode anyways the lower your health is the uh more damage you do to the people the uh punching that is not swords i don't think so but yes so that's berserker uh castellan castellan is basically the human race but it does still have bust castellan boost not bust what Castlin has 1.5 times mana regen and a larger mana, mana percent needed for before failure. The mana percent for failure is just some, is for magic books and crap. But uh, that's for later. And then last race is Ashin. Ashin. I don't know how to say it. But it's basically like an assassin class. And um, Ashin can run while carrying somebody. They have two times combat damage and kicks and um they they're just really op and they have a speed boost i think so yeah that's all the races in the game right now you'll spawn as one of those and if you don't remember what i said what your race can do just check the discord in the description and check the race info um there is two other races that you have to obtain by doing things in the game you can't spawn as it but you guys can go check that out because those ones you need to like find out what to do with those sub races there's vampires vampires um can be obtained with a flower you could be a be a uh, a, fl uh, a vampire with a flower that spawns in the vampire base which you have to you can go ask people how to find it or you can explore and find it it's pretty cool um or you can get infected by another vampire and uh become a vampire or, but you can't stand in light you'll die well, not die instantly but you'll you'll um burn and then die uh anyway so yeah uh let's talk about these bars actually so first one obviously is your health bar this one is your number of lives these three numbers are just your how many days you survived so if i survive one day it'll just put one there but zero 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 so one in total this bar right here is the hunger bar but i don't have any hunger uh, it would be yellow if I had hunger, but hunger only goes down if your health is down. So say like you took damage and you're like right here and you have full health, your health bar will go in. I mean, your hunger bar will go in for your health bar. So it'll go down and this will go up fast. But if you don't have any hunger, your health will regen super slow. So I recommend always having food on you to eat or have your hunger up. And then last one is the potion bar. The potion bar is used to, I guess, balance out the game because there are potions in the game that I will explain, and uh, it just it just balances the game out because it, say like you're in a battle, you pop like ten potions, ten health potions to heal yourself up in the battle. That'd be way too OP. So they keep this to regulate it. So say you pop a health potion, it'll go up a bit. Pop another one, it'll go up again. 
and, and if it's full you can't pop any more potions so that's why it balances the game um so yes so we're gonna go to the general information now so we're done with the races and I guess this well this is part of the general race oh wait I've been talking about this one this one is um your your uh, temperature so hot is red blue is cool so you you want to like stay in the middle generally if you're too cold you'll freeze to death if you're too hot you'll die to heat sun stuff anyways um so yeah gaining xp uh xp is given to you passively through days so if you survive more days and more days and more days you'll get more xp but it's not that much it's small but it still works um simply give uh, hitting people gives you xp and um killing loads of people ne puts negative karma to you and there is karma but you can't see it so i don't know how much karma i have people mistake this for karma a lot but it's not um becoming a vampire gives you a lot of xp but completely ruins your karma uh by the way when i mean karma not me like karma karma like i mean i'm karma but like karma you guys you guys know what i mean all right all right my, all right anyways uh killing zombies give you a little xp uh, so XP helps you get your mana bar in fact, which I'll tell you how to obtain very soon um, Let's see. Let's see. Let's see Classes classes are a whole nother uh, Like ability range so Classes there are so many uh, I can't go over those uh, I won't because this is a lot So you guys just go into general information in the discord if you want to read about it. So how to obtain mana? live four days so being four hours four hours in the game okay so my bad i think an hour in the game is one day because it says live four days so that means and this is four hours of being in the game so i guess one hour is one day in the game so my bad um so yeah so one hour so four days will give you the mana bar uh or you can punch people a lot so Say you have a friend, you just punch them a lot, and that gives you XP, and uh, that XP adds up, and you'll soon get that mana bar once you get the enough XP. Uh, you can let a mage hit you with a spell, such as Ignis or Tenbris, which are mage powers that uh, you can get. So, or you could become a vampire. Um, how to train your mana, because of course when you get mana, you gotta train it. Uh, so to train it because training it allows you to unlock mana run mana dash and mana climb which are very 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 essential in this game so once you get mana you want to uh, press G hold G and get it to the top so I wish I could demonstrate I honestly wish I could demonstrate so you know what? here let's see a visual representation uh, I'm going to use this barrel as my representation all right this is the top of the mana bar this is the bottom of the mana bar right but your mana bar would be right here it's a GUI it's just like this but like sideways it's like the high health bar sideways right and when you hold G it'll go up like this right and once you hit the top it'll just start going down right away but um, what you want to do to train mana you want to hold G and then you want to let go and then hold G and then let go hold G let go hold G and you want to bring it down to about 70% then bring it back up straight to the top let it back go down and then it go up go down go up and uh, if you hear sounds like there's this one sound that you got to hear to know if you're actually doing it right but I can't really play the sound or anything so yeah that's how you train mana and mana on mana training unlocks mana run first first uh and you have to unlock you have you can unlock mana run on the first day you have to uh, survive at least one day to get it and you just got to train your mana for a little while and then uh you charge mana right so say like i charge mana and right when it hits the top you have to fast because you want to like get the most uh, amount of mana use so once it hits the top you want to hold W and you'll go really fast well, not really fast but you'll run fast like you'll see the difference but it'll also your mana will go down regardless um, next is mana climb which 
uh, you have to live at least one day just like mana run and once you have done that you are able to climb on walls so again you want to make your mana go all the way up and once it hits the top you want to double jump well not really double jump but once you if you're touching a wall you want to jump and you'll cling to a wall and you could go w a s d all the ways you want to go so up down right left all the ways uh and if you can't like say you're trying to even though you can't you need to mana train more until you can and last one is mana dash i haven't obtained it yet but you obtain it uh, you have to at least have two days um survived and you gotta train it for longer and dash oh my gosh that guy scared me <gasps> this is not good hello hello um i'm just making a video uh hello yo um i'm just record no kill low. yeah 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 all right so all right so uh back to what i was trying to say oh my gosh my heart anyways so dashing is q any which way you're going so w a s d so i'm going a i go like this i go like this just like that see just like how you roll and just like that so dash uh basically you hold g go all the way up and press it and you will dash farther than you can like what i did right now uh so yeah that's all with mana well mana like climbing all that basic stuff and then you can train climbing mana train uh mana train climb mana climb my bad by just climbing uh you just gotta keep on climbing keep on climbing you'll go little by little but you'll see that you can go up uh higher and faster than what you usually can when you first get it so yes and then last stuff what i told you guys about forcefully drinking forcefully making people drink mana i mean not mana potion uh you have to knock them so say i knock that guy he's all on the ground right i have a potion in my inventory i bring it out i go on their body and press p it'll forcefully drink them it will make them force it will force them to drink the potion whatever it is it could be poison health potion you can help them with health potions if you wanted to all that and here are the potions that you can obtain and to get potions you have to make them with resources that spawn everywhere around the map so i'm gonna actually go out and find a resource to show you guys well not resource more like ingredient so let's see are there anything here um yeah and there's nothing but anyways uh it's basically flowers and stuff actually there are flowers over here um oh it's a trinket i'll talk to you guys about trinkets later but trinkets are very useful because you honestly need them so here's an ingredient this is a dire flower and i'll explain uh how to make things and stuff so hello hello please no kill um let's go back in here run oh by the way this is a doctor this doctor heals broken bones and stuff oh what the heck okay uh you can break bones by falling off cliffs and crap so don't break bones because they make you um dis you like you can't do anything if you break bones you can't climb you can't run you just go really slow anyways some health potions basic health potion which is you know just the health potion two shrooms and a lava flower uh actually i i'm not even gonna go through it i'm just gonna read what some are there's health potions there's bone grow which is basically just um fixing your bones which that potion is very useful say like you break your bone you don't want to spend silver because it takes silver for doctors to heal you um so you make the uh potion you drink it your bones are all healed good job uh silver sun which is basically a vampire it'll take your vampire abilities away from you if you are a vampire uh lord's bane i have no clue what the heck that is it says na all right anyways um switch witch potions that changes your gender and your name uh tespin elixir that is a heal it's like a healing potion but it heals more it heals more than the uh health potion the normal one and it hurts chaotic chaotic is the, some things with class you guys can read that and the fire resistance one troll and two ships why did i say that i didn't all right anyways so yeah fire resistance that's basically what it is 
so yeah that's those are all the potions that you can make you can see the ingredients list in the description on the discord all right good gotta go anyways uh there are spells uh you guys can check those out because that is not part of the starter guide because that is more like you know you got to get in the game and then you can you know check it out anyways um so starter guide last thing we should talk about are trinkets trinkets are things like goblets rings old rings old amulet just like what i'm holding right now uh they spawn all over the map you just gotta look where they spawn say like how i found it right here right it'll just be like that it'll sparkle and everything so if you find it you just click on it because that's how you pick it up i thought i saw something sparkle but that was just a fire particle but yeah you just gotta look everywhere um they usually spawn in places on like tables chairs barrels just um yeah places but you can't farm places you can't like say there's a spawn right here you can't just sit here and auto click uh the system makes it where you have to go away from the spawn a certain distance for it to spawn it oh my gosh that scared me uh, for it to spawn in again so yeah here oh i found a goblet just like that goblet and what you do with these you sell them and you get silver but the thing is you don't these don't sell for a lot of silver not a lot of things don't sell for a lot of silver but there are, are things that do like scrolls which is the way you get spells but anyways say you find a bunch of amulets and goblets and all that goody stuff which you don't want to like hoard on you because if you hoard it and die you lose all of it but yeah you don't want to do that so uh take your stuff and you want to run to the sentinel or an alana alana this is a you see right here this is a fungus it's the fungus race i showed you not the fungus um what is the race called uh it is the shroom see it's the shroom he's talking it looks pretty cool in it anyways um yeah so that's the shroom i'm just not gonna deal with him i could fight him if i really wanted to because shrooms take two times damage so like i hit him once he takes two times damage the if it, i hit like a person if i was to hit somebody so like i hit i say i do 10 damage to him it do 20 just like that my throat's kind of getting dry <clears throat> anyway so yeah this is the sentinel the sentinel is right in the middle um if you guys do play this game i suggest you remember the map um the map is even in the discord if you want to check it out it's really dope it'll show you everywhere like say alana there's merchants everything like i said just everything here's the merchant and the sentinel say merchant you need something appraised can i sell in bulk trinkets i'll pay four silver okay 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 all right i know this person i don't know why they're fighting anyway so yeah i sold it for four trinkets and what i can do with four trinkets i can buy me some food all right all right okay oh my gosh i'm gonna just eat this real quick see just like that i got some food and um i'm regaining health fast yeah so just explore the map uh talk to people nice people make friends for a fact you need to make friends uh, oh yeah houses houses um as you can see these people have last names and we don't have last names because we're not in a house and a house is basically a family or a guild <laughs> anyway so yeah um so buy also where I, where i died at the sentinel um there are places to buy uh food and stuff um food just like that and then also weapons uh just like oh these are cloaks too that you could buy and it'll hide your name uh where is the shop for swords and weapons uh there is not one here but yeah you could buy weapons and sword swords with silver that you collect um fighting combat and also if you if this if your lives run to zero you'll get wiped and basically wipe means you lose your you lose your everything all right you lose 
what you look like. I mean, you don't lose your uh, your race, which you keep. You lose your first name. You keep your last name if you're in a family. Uh, you lose your mana training, everything mana. You lose your inventory. You lose everything. You lose your XP. Just everything. You lose everything, except race. Um, so don't get wiped, or try not to get wiped. That is. And uh, let's see, is there anything else? So once you got some trinkets, you got some weapons, you look OP, um, you know, you're ready to box, all right? I mean, of course, that'll take some training. I don't know who's tracing me. All right, we're going to box this person. Oh, okay, okay, right away. I don't really know how to box with F because, like, apparently because like a bunch of people use block to fight and stuff and it's very useful of course but you see i just don't i've never blocked in any games i just never this guy's bad bad oh my gosh i'm like okay okay block at that moment just like that ba 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 haha yeah they low i know you low i know you are they running? Turn around. No, 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 no. You die. Okay, I can't get up there. Anyways. um, Yeah, so just like that, you're going to run into a lot of fights. So you prepare to get gripped a lot. Oh, just like that. I got my man bar. As you can see, look, it goes up. I'm not even holding it. It goes down. It goes up, goes down. Come back here, boy. Come here. Come here. Thank you for the mana bar, but uh, come here, boy. Where do you think you're going? You gonna die. Pick the fight with the wrong person. <gasps> See, he has climbed. You lucky bastard. What he say? He said, "Haha, noob." All right, you know whatever. Um, you lucky I can't climb. You lucky. Anyways, so yeah, you get trinkets, get money. Um, you know, use your race to the best of your abilities. He tried to snake me. This man tried to snake me. Wow, come here, boy. He, and also if they are they're the lower they are um what i mean by lower like the health uh the slower they will be they fell they fell they fell you do take fall damage by the way so don't take fall damage and a way to reduce fall damage is to dash into the wall so like this <gasps> no he played me i'm just gonna i'm just gonna hide in here and do the rest of my video in here really quick um yes so what i did you guys saw if you're falling from a high place and you want to reduce the damage or not take damage at all you want to just dash into the wall yeah boy <sighs> this man <sighs> he's tricky anyway so i'm gonna go up here uh okay you know i'm not gonna go there say i fall right you just want to dash into the wall you see how i slow down oh yeah you're not you're not see you see how fast he was going that's mana dash. He's a lucky boy. He's a lucky boy. He's mana. He's mana charging right now. If he's if they laughed, they glogged. Okay, I'm sorry for being very off topic. Um, so yeah, uh, I think that's really all. Just get more OP. Uh, learn about the game. Learn the map. All that. Make friends. You'll you'll be way better. Don't dislike the game. The game. It's, it's very fun if you know how to play and I hope this video helped you and I hope you guys enjoyed this video But I know it's a lot of talking. I'm sorry. I tried to talk my fastest and uh, It's still a long video. So yeah guys Um, if this video helped you at all drop a like subscribe if you are not ready and you want some rogue lineage content because I do play this game a lot and uh, Yeah, so I'll see you guys in another video peace